What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. Here we are in the Hammerdown Motorsports mezzanine. Pretty much the first time I've ever made a video here in the office, so hopefully the audio is okay. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to have to tweak here in the future, but we will get it all sorted out one way or another. Behind me, I do like the fact that we have a little bit of a backdrop here, and I have some ideas for a kind of centerpiece that I'm going to be constructing here in the near future, so definitely stay tuned for that. Hopefully this chair isn't too creaky, but hey, we're living and learning here and just kind of moving forward with everything as far as the shop goes, the mezzanine goes and all that kind of stuff. So our topic for today is the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, we don't have any new Fords here on the channel. We have the 2017 Camaro SS, we have the 2019 Ram Rebel, and I don't plan on getting rid of either one of those, at least not for the near future. But I was thinking, after I saw the release of the new Bronco, well, actually, I'm not going to say I thought about it right after the release, because at first I was kind of like, well, if this is going to compare to a Raptor or something like that, or an F-150, we're kind of hoping that they're going to bring a V8, like the 5.0 in the Bronco. Well, that would have been pretty awesome, being that I believe Jeep is actually coming out with a V8 version as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that in maybe possibly the near future. But for the release, it is coming out with two engine options, the 2.3 liter turbo, four cylinder and the 2.7 liter EcoBoost turbo as well and with a 10-speed transmission, which is pretty awesome. Anybody knows anything about the Ford 10-speed transmission, a lot like the GM 10-speed, it is definitely the one to get. And unless you're like more for that crawl gear, if you're, if you're a rock crawler, which I wouldn't consider myself to be, as far as off-roading goes, that's not really my thing. But for everybody out there wanting one of these, there is a whole ton of options available. So after thinking about it for a while, and it just kind of, I don't know, sometimes things just spark your interest and for me, it was just like, I, I kind of liked the Bronco one day. It was just kind of like, you know, if I was going to get a Ford, like I was almost thinking about getting a Super Duty, possibly maybe getting rid of the Ram Rebel and then replacing the Cummins and the Rebel with like a Super Duty Platinum or something like that and then doing like a big lift. But it's been done so many times and I don't really know if that would be something that, I mean, I would love that truck, but would it be something that would be, you know, the new thing it's not i don't want to do something that everybody has already done so the bronco obviously there's a ton of people out there are going to be getting one and i did make a reservation i have not had an allocation just yet but there is just that first step or whatever it's like a hundred dollar commitment to get one of these 2021 broncos when the time comes so I've been doing a little bit of research and just kind of the different models and everything like that something that would suit me price wise and kind of function wise being that we go on the beach and all that kind of stuff and it would kind of more or less be kind of a beach buggy and we'd maybe take it on some off-road trails around here i'm not really one for taking a sixty thousand dollar vehicle and then you know beating it to every inch of its life but hey who knows if this channel grows big enough maybe we'll be able to do that that would be pretty awesome but with that being said i was kind of I was looking at the Badlands because the Badlands is kind of like, they said it's going to be their most popular order. So I, I went on the Badlands, I went through and I picked everything, like every option, tube doors, winch, front bumper, all that kind of stuff, like all the crazy modular things and roof rails and the extra Bamimi top and pretty much as outfitted as you possibly can. And I was left with a price that was it was just below $60,000 for this. And I think they started in the 40s, 45, something like that. And then I went and moved up to the Wild Track, which is supposed to be kind of their high speed, like Desert Runner style. And I priced that one out, maxed out, Lux package, everything. And that was, I think it was $400 or less difference between those two when you outfit them completely, like once you have everything on them. So I really don't know what the big difference between those two is, if there's a suspension difference or not being that they say one is more of like your rock crawler and the other one is more your high speed desert kind of height. I don't know what they call it exactly, but the high speed off roader basically. So that being said, I do think that for that little bit of money, I think the value is better because you can get like the, the decal package and all that kind of stuff on the wild track, which I didn't see on the Badlands. I could be wrong, but you don't get the leather interior and I don't believe, there's a few options with the Lux package that I didn't see the Lux package available on the Badlands. So I think the only real big difference is the washout floor. You can get that on the Badlands and if you get the Lux package, it did say that there was carpet, 
which I'm not really a big fan of, but maybe once an allocation is available, you can go in and delete the carpet. Because I think that washout floor is actually a pretty cool option and I would love to have that. But I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Definitely drop in the comments. What, if you were to order a Bronco today, go through, just kind of pick your options and just drop in like maybe some suggestions that you might have, like must haves, things maybe you could live without, all that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously if I was gonna get one, I kind of want to get it as fancy as I could. I like the, the outside keypad and I like the 360 camera and I definitely want heated seats because in the winter time, I know I had a Jeep and the winter time, they can be a little cooler than a regular vehicle. So to have that heated seat option is definitely something that I would want. And especially if, I don't know, if you want to go crazy and play in the snow and you want to take the doors off or something like that, put the tube doors on to go rip through the snowbank. It'd be nice to keep the uh, heat seat warmer on definitely for that situation. But just kind of my thoughts on the Bronco so far. There's so much to cover on that thing. And they've just really kind of innovated so much with that release. There's just like the rail in the front for GoPros and you can have the, the trail mapping and all that kind of stuff. You can record with the 360 camera. It's There's just so many things for a YouTuber to play with. It was it's, That's kind of my thing. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I should never get a Ford. I don't know. Drop in the comments, should I get the 2021 Bronco? I know we're kind of speaking to the Ram audience right now, but we're not getting rid of the Rebel. We're still gonna have the Rebel. That's gonna be so, more so the tow vehicle slash beach vehicle slash kind of everything. That, that thing does everything pretty, pretty well, but to have more of like, I guess a dedicated off-roader and just kind of like a short wheelbase, fun vehicle to rip around with, I think it'd be pretty cool. And I, I don't know, I mean, I always say this, I'm like, it comes pretty equipped from the factory. So even if I like go for the winch and all that kind of stuff, am I gonna be doing a lot of modifications to it? I don't know, I kind of like this, the, the wheels that it comes with and I pretty much would just add lighting because the lighting from Ford is actually a lot more money than I think you'd be able to buy at aftermarket. So I would probably end up just doing my own thing with that. But that was just kind of my thoughts on it. I've been throwing this idea around. I did put a poll up on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, I will have my Instagram below. But yeah, just kind of getting, feeling out before I make a real commitment on this Bronco purchase, whether it's gonna be something that you guys wanna see or maybe I'm gonna be able to reach more people with. I don't know, it's just kind of a game that you gotta play and having the vehicle that for yourself is gonna be enjoyable and gonna be able to make awesome content. Because if I'm having fun, I'm having fun making videos on it and definitely comes out on the video for you guys as well, making the good content that we try to do around here. So that being said, drop your comments in the comment section, yes or no, to the 2021 Bronco. I'm pretty excited about it, I gotta say. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome, but you never know until you get it. And that's pretty much what I got to say about that for today. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down. And just a little sneak peek for you guys who stuck around to the end of the video. This is kind of what I'm going for for our back kind of display piece back here. What I was thinking, let's see if I can do this one hand. I'm gonna have these headers, if we get the camera far enough back, on either side, you can see the collector down there. And then I was gonna have basically a frame in the middle that I was gonna make with some piping. I'm not entirely sure exactly what just yet. And then I wanted to have like a lit up Hammerdown Motorsports in the middle, maybe some diamond plate in the back. And then you do obviously have the other header on the other side. And I ordered some lights the other day that are actually gonna go in the collector. And they're kind of those like flame lights so it kind of looked like, you know, there's flames coming out, like you're revving up an engine or something like that. But right now it's a blank canvas. Those are just kind of my little thoughts in my mind of how this is all going to turn out. So if you guys have any suggestions for the big wall piece that we're going to have back here, definitely drop those in the comments as well.